bloggers pow So today let's have a look at the James Pond series of games. So here we are at the beginning with James Pond Underwater Agent. Right, so mission one, license to This is going to be full of really, really stupid James Bond puns. Now, this one I have played on the Amiga before. So, let's have a look. So, free the crabs, collect the anchor. How do I collect that? Oh, there we go. Okay, so, oh, and there's some homicidal diving man there and that crab's not friendly look I'm <sighs> I'm freeing your friends and you're just being a dick about it now I don't have much in the way of memories of this I'll tell you something I do remember though being an incredibly average meat game obviously means it's an incredibly average Mega Drive game. And I couldn't believe that having. What the fuck just happened? I couldn't believe going from an Amiga to a Mega Drive. So going from a machine which, hey, it was good and that, but to a machine which did really, really good arcade conversions, why would you convert James Pond to the Mega Drive? Uh, I don't really understand the logic behind that, apart from, you know, obviously money. It's not a particularly good game, and I just died again for no reason whatsoever. What? It's all flipping out now. What's going on? Right. Let's bubble some shit now. I've forgotten about bubbling some shit. Let's bubble these bastards. Bubble and bobbing over that dish shit and bobbing, didn't they? Anyway. Yes, um, ah, it is a, a very unforgiving game, if you ask me. But then again, it is programmed by Chris Sorrell and Steve Back, who made the incredibly unforgiving shooters on the Amiga, Leatherneck, and uh, Dogs of War. And uh, my license has been revoked already. Press fire to continue, I suppose. Yeah, okay, Mission 3. Well, mission 3? What happened to mission two? For you to a spill. Right, so what am I doing? I'm collecting random tat. Oh, I've got to use this dynamite to maybe block. Yes, yeah, there we go. So turn the dynamite to the bottom of the oil rig. Because nothing will tell those pesky oil companies what for messing up my sea by blowing up the oil rig. What the hell? I just got killed again. Um, yeah, so messing up... What? I did not even see what actually... Uh. So yes, destroying the oil rig will really help with your ecological battle, James Pond. You're a dinosaur. A misogynistic fish. How many dry martinis have you sunk and fallen into the arms of women or something? I don't know, I can't remember what him said. Something strange going on there. Oh, let's go through this hole. Oh, oh look, there we go. Uh, in this nice house. Select an item. item. Dynamite. Yep, we'll have some dynamite because we're. Blocking it at the bottom of the ocean. It's above an oil rig to 
create an ecological disaster. Oh, yes. So yeah, this is, this isn't a particularly good game. I suppose it's completely programmed. It looks quite nice, but it's just. Oh, I really just don't understand how this was even popular enough on the home computers to be converted to a Mega Drive. I really don't. And I don't even know what I'm doing next. I'm sure somebody will point out that I'm playing it wrong, because I'm always playing it wrong. Are these fish here to be friendly-ish? Oh, I'm getting hit by them. Anyway, license where right, this is not a good game. Not bad, it's definitely not what I would call good. But hey, we've got a sequel to play, or two. Joy! Right! James Pond 2, Robocod. Oh, right, let's get this started. Toys at Santa's factory are crying out for help. There's some sores on the penguins. Now, it's worth noting up, up from the depths, it's Robocod. Oh, my lord. The music. That's a jolly version of the Robocop theme. Oh my lord. Basil Poldois is turning in his grave. Christ almighty. Right, let's get this done. Okay, right, it, it is more of a platformer. And you can extend your body an infinite amount. Look, he's going to hit Mars if he's not careful. Mars, that's a chocolate bar. We'll come back to that. Christ almighty, that is one seriously extendable body. Right, so it's always. And we go into a door. There's an arrow I can jump into, it looks lovely. Right, and the extendable thing means you can scuttle across the ceiling as well. Yeah. Collect stuff as well. Scuttling across the ceiling appears to be very, very slow. Let's get those two weird bonus items there. Look at the sad tennis balls in the background, aren't they sad? Who cares about the tennis balls? Oh, this is already tedious. So you had a game which wasn't a particularly good platformer straight action shooty thing for the Amiga and the Mega Drive and then you ended up with a uh, a sequel which also ended up on the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo and the Game Boy and the Master System and the Game Gear and would you believe it the PlayStation, and the PlayStation 2, and the Nintendo DS. What? what? How did this straddle not one, not two, but essentially three generations of hardware? This came in 1991. I'm not entirely sure what date the DS version came out, but the DS console came out in 2004. This one single game has had been having remakes for nearly 15 years. Ow, oh, and it's busted me all the way back to the beginning here. Oh, what a pain in the ass! Now, I mentioned chocolate earlier. I'm not sure if I'm going to see it, because I'm not going to play this for very long, but this was famously sponsored by um, Penguin Chocolate Biscuits. It's a brand of uh, chocolate sandwich biscuits here in the UK. I, I can only imagine there's got to be some sort of, oh there's a penguin now, some sort of um, weird ass licensing thing, you know, like Zool did with Chupa Chups lollies. So uh, I, I really don't know. 
it's all very, very strange. I mean, think of the equivalent these days. Drive Club? I don't know, um... Chuck Rocky? I mean, there's a... game called Marathon. I wonder if it changed its name to Snickers after it came out on the Apple Mac. Who knows? Um... It's an old 8-bit game by Rainbow Bird called Turrican, Turrican? called um, Tracker. There's the something penguins. And there's an exit. I don't know. But this is, again... If you... Okay, pick one of the formats I mentioned. Okay, go, just pick a format. Oh look, okay, Super Nintendo. What do you have on the Super Nintendo? Fucking Mario games. What do you have on the Mega Drive? Sonic. What do you have on the DS? Sonic and Mario. Why would you even consider playing this on any of those formats? I mean, this cute little idea, ho ho, very funny. It's called Robocod because he's a fish in a tin can suit. It may as well be a sardine can. What the fuck? Is that a disembodied glove with only four fingers? Oh, Christ almighty. And also, he has no weapon me. Robocod has no weapon me. If you had a fucking machine gun, it might even be a bit better. But no! He's just got... The star doesn't even do anything! And this music really getting on my tits now. I'm not going to collect that. Well, actually, it might be, that might be a good way for euthanizing. Oh, Jamie here. Oh, crap, it's one of those stupid platforms that moves, but then stops moving, so it doesn't actually have a, a pattern. Oh, I don't just, I'm just complaining about it. I'm just wound up that this exists on so many formats. I do not understand. It. Look, there's another sodding penguin, you flightless bastards. Oh, talking of flight? Oh, I can fly now! Right at the end of the goddamn level, I can fly. So, yes, answers on a postcard. Why was this even popular? It's not a good game by any stretch of the imagination at all. It's a very, very average by the numbers platform game. Oh, and it's also now pretending to be non-linear. Look, I can't even grab hold. Grab hold. What, what am I supposed to do here? Can I jump up there? Yes, I can. And Robocod can't... Oh, he can't even climb on... Where are we going now then, you... Blind-laden... Whackmonger. Fucking hell. No, I'm really, really... No, I don't... No, I don't care anymore. This is... I really do not have... What the... the shitting hell is that? Oh my god, it's an aeroplane! Okay, so... Woohoo for a little bit of variety. But again, I've got the most interesting thing. Right at the point of the exit. I assume I've got to save a penguin before I can get in the exit. There we go. Sodding penguins. Oh, there's another exit there. Multiple exits. Okay. Maybe a tad interesting. Ah. Uh. Oh, and the music! It, the, uh, the music! I finished the stage and now I'm going to go in the, the next door and oh god look at those absolutely hideous teddy bears in the background what am I jumping on giant twinkies that sounds a reason wouldn't it oh, I know I can't be doing with this anymore no move along 
Okay, here we go. James Pong 3, Operation Starfish. Apparently it was going to be called Splash Gordon at one point, which made me slightly raise half a smile. Ooh, mode six and a half. Fancy. Right, here we go. The music's pretty funky, I'll give it that. I like that. That's fun. So, Garden of Edam. Garden of Edam. Cheese, we're going to destroy cheese mines. I feel the need, the need for cheese. Yeah, I'd like to start the level, please. Good luck, good luck. Yes, good luck. A nice little bit of speech, okay. I'm going to go into this with an open mind then. And we have an even more generic looking platformer. What are you doing, Pond? Pond, what are you doing? Fuck's sake, Pond, get off. I'm not sure if that's going to be important later that I can do that, but now I know I can. It might be actually quite handy. Oh, 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 it's just like Strider. Oh my god, this game thinks it's Sonic the Hedgehog, but a bit shit. There was no warning that's going to happen. Oh. Come on. How the hell is he supposed to get up there? Oh, and he's dead. I don't care. He deserved that. He had that coming. The games on the first level are supposed to ease you in with an idea of what you can and can't do. This game just said, I can run like Sonic, but however, I get to a slope which is a bit steep. I can't. What was this? Oh, fucking Captain Birdseye turns up. <sighs> well, these things actually have, have, a, have a function. get a good run up and well you can't get a good run up like you can in Sonic. And the level appears the level appears to have changed. Unless I did something drastically different. Which I don't think I did. This great big lump of fucking cheese here wasn't there. And up here is what appears to be something like a crashed spaceship. I can't get back up there. Again, really, really opaque and oblique indications of what you're actually supposed to do. Oh. It's not as if you can hammer the button to Maybe you can. I'll shut up now. Oh, I did do that, didn't I? Well, you can sort of hammer the button to get up slopes to a point, but not that slope there. This... Oh, no, no, you hold the button down. You don't have to hammer the button. You hold the button down like an accelerator. What? For, what? Platform games have an accelerator. Oh, I really want to make loads of cheese puns at the moment, but I'm so broken with absolute apathy towards this. I can't even muster up even a small cheese pun. Right, fucking full speed ahead, you 
fishy twat. It does think it's so edge, doesn't it? And that mouse hurt me. What an absolute joke. This is worse than the other games. God's sake. And here we go. The last of the James Bond games. And it's not actually one of the James Bond games. Well, it is, but it's not. It's, it's a spin off. This is Aquatic Games. Stone James Pond and the Aquabats. Oh god, okay, right. The Aquatic Games, I can practice some various things. Let's have just a quick go at the main event and see what it's like. Oh, what's it really? Oh, this is Hub Sports. This is a button bashing thing. Damn it, I was not ready for this. That slippy toad twat is getting in front of me. You must not lose to the toad! Oh, Christ. Too slow? I beat the stupid toad! Alright, okay. Let's try that again. Can you fly, Bobby? Bitches leave. I don't want to fuck with you. Just give me my fucking phone call. Right, this time I'm ready for this. With some serious bum bashing. Ready. <laughs> oh, Christ, I'm like, that's tight. 17 seconds to qualify, and we're at 16.46. Good result, old oh, thanks you. Sponsored by Penguin Trash. Burn some gallery calories after all those stupid chocolate biscuits you've been eating since Robocop. Right, what are we on to next? I don't know what I'm doing. This time I'm still qualifying, but yeah, there was a thing in hype sports as well. Oh, so am I supposed to be protecting these seals from the beach boys? All seals frightened off, apparently so. Failed to qualify, game over. So next up we have the hop, skip and jump, which is going to be more button bashing, isn't it? It's going to be the triple jump. And then it's, it's yeah, it's the, it's the long jump from, triple jump from Hyper Sports, but a really pants on hit stupid version of it. Yeah, that's shit. Move along. Okay, so next up we have the bouncy castle. Oh, and James Bond broke his flippers. No, I don't know what's going on here. There seems to be some steps here you can't do anything with. And you can't even get like a momentum of jumping here. Well, you can if you just bounce backwards and forwards. Hardly an event, is it? It's just like a crap version of pinball with a fish and two flippers. Flippers. Nah, that's naff. Die. Right, next up, what have we got? Something called feeding time. So, um. Oh! Fill up. Fill up the, um bucket with sweets because you know that's what fishy. Let's, let's 
bears no resemblance to any known Olympic event I've ever seen. It's um, it's a cutified version of um, Beatem and Eaton, you know, that, uh, that soft porn Atari 2600 game. Which is also a version of some good game based on some uh, uh, variant of something else as well. Think about Beatem and Eaton and think about a starfish force feeding fish sweets. Thought about that enough now? Good. Next up is shell shooting. Now I thought this was going to be... Oh, you can't walk into the shells, you have to jump on the shells. I thought it was going to be like the skeet shooting from Hype Sports, but it's not. I'm not entirely supposed to ideas are supposed to jump on the shells and flick them up into the balloon somehow, but... Oh, Christ. But no, this is a non-game as well. This is almost like they just designed this just to... I don't know, just to annoy me, I think. Right, second to last event is the Tour de Grasse, which is another button bashing game by these things. Oh no, it's not. The button just seems to make him jump. Uh, so is that one of the crap sharks from Viz? The shark and fish and it's next me in danger hose and it's been crap and shite. This is Leapfrog. It's another button basher, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's hurdles. Electric hurdles. Just for e extra pain. Run through wet puddles and then jump over electric fences because water and electricity mix especially well in an Olympic environment. Fantastic bastards. <laughs> yes, I didn't qualify. I don't really don't really really don't care that I didn't qualify. Not quick enough. Fuck you. So those James Bond games. I didn't think much of them. What do you think? Comment below. I'm just so glad I don't have to play another one of them. Oh what? Yeah, subscribe or naff off.